Hello and welcome back to Frappe ERP Next course. In this lecture, we will initialize a new project using Frappe Bench and after that, we will install ERP Next application into that project. Let's start with initializing a new project. I am opening my installation guide. To initialize a new project or a new bench instance in Frappe framework, we can run this command bench init then the bench name or the project name. Here I am using version 13 and which is the latest version of Frappe framework. Let's run this command in terminal. Now we can see the Frappe is cloning from Frappe's GitHub repository and we are cloning version 13. and it is automatically started all the building processes if you go up we can see a link to open this web application in web server let's open this link here we can see a 404 not found error it is because we didn't create any site to run this application so let's create a site we can create site using this command bench new site then give a site name I am giving the name decody.com. Let's copy this. We can stop this server using Ctrl C. And now the server is stopped. Let's clear this. Run the command bench new site decody.com. This will ask MariaDB root password. Let's enter the password which we configured during the MariaDB installation. The site will create an administrator user. We have to enter a password for admin login. I am entering one password. Re-enter one more time. And now we successfully created site and database. We can start the server using the command bench start. Now the server is up. Let's wait for finishing the rebuilding process now rebuilding is finished let's go to the link and reload this page here we can see the login window of frappe framework i am not login right now let's install erp next into our project we can install erp next using this command bench get up then ERP next then specify the version I am using version 13 and which is the latest ERP next version let's copy this command I am closing this server clear this and run the command Now we successfully installed ERP Next into our project. Let's install ERP Next into our site. So we can install ERP Next into our site using this command bench site, then the site name which is decoded.com, then using this command install app, then application name. So let's run this. Clear this and run this. This will create database tables for ERP Next application. Let's start the bench using this command bench start. Let's open the web application. Now here we can see login to Frappe. Let's reload the page and 
now it is changed to login to ERP next let's login as administrator user and let's enter the password which we set up during the site installation I am saving this password now we can see the success message and the login is success next we need to set up a configuration wizard I am choosing language English next we need to select our region I am selecting India because I am from India it will also fetch the time zone and currency click on next here we need to create a first user I am creating a system admin I am giving a full name system admin let's enter a username and password for admin click on next I am saving that username and password here we need to select our domain I am selecting all these domains because I am using this ERP next application for development purpose click on next next we have to enter a company name and company abbreviation my company is decody and I am choosing abbreviation DE click on next here we need to enter the details of our organization here I am delivering a frappe ERP next course so let's enter frappe ERP next course here and let's enter a random bank name I am not changing anything here click on complete setup and it will configure everything for you now we can see the workspace of ERP next application in left side we can see different modules and domains available in ERP next these are the elaborated view of each module these all are point to different doc types and reports a search box is available in Nowbar, and from here we can search doc types and reports a notification icon is here and this will show the notification available to you and in help menu you can see the documentation and user forms and about I am opening about this will show the important links of Frappe framework and installed application this will show us the ERP next and Frappe application is installed into our site and their corresponding version ERP next version is 13.11.1 and Frappe framework version is 13.11.0 here we can see a user profile icon and this is used for configuring your profile in this list you can see a view website submenu let's click on the view website this is the website provided by the ERP next and we can customize this website using codes and doc types we will see the customization in coming lectures let's close this this is the official documentation of ERP next and if you need any help or any doubts you just go through this documentation I am closing it right now we can log out from this workspace using this logout menu this will redirect you to the website view of ERP next let's go back to the terminal and I am closing the server using control C if you refresh right now it will show error let me clear this now our bench is in production mode and we need to change this bench from production mode to developer mode because some of the functionalities and developer mode options are not available in production we can set up developer mode using this command bench set config
then developer mode developer underscore mode one this will change the site configuration file let's open site configuration file my site name is decoded.com then open site configuration.json file here we can see developer mode is enabled and we can use this bench for developing purpose let's wind up this and see you on the next lecture bye